study about escape and orbital velocities. Escape and orbital velocities. Orbital velocity. The velocity required for an object to revolve around a planet in a circular orbit is called orbital velocity. It is denoted by v naught. Expression for orbital velocity. Let us consider an object of mass, m, satellite, to revolve around a planet, Earth, of mass, m, and around radius, r. Let m is equal to mass of satellite, r is equal to radius of circular orbit of satellite, h is equal to height of satellite above surface of Earth, r is equal to radius of Earth, v naught is equal to orbital velocity m is equal to mass of the earth the centripetal force is equal to mv square by r the force f required by the satellite to keep moving in a circular orbit is provided by the gravitational force f is equal to gmm by r square between the satellite and the earth Therefore, mv naught square by r is equal to gmm by r square. Here, r is equal to r plus h. Therefore, mv naught square by r plus h is equal to gmm by r plus h whole square. v naught square is equal to gm by r plus h v naught is equal to square root of gm by r plus h. The expression gives us the orbital velocity of a satellite revolving around a planet at a height h. Here, r plus h is called the orbital radius. Orbital velocity does not depend upon the mass of the object. It depends on the mass of the planet, radius of the planet, and height of the object from the surface. h is very small when compared to the radius of the planet r, then r plus h becomes r. In such case, therefore, v naught is nearer to square root of gm by r. We know that g is equal to gm by r square. Therefore, v naught is nearer to square root of g r square by r. v naught is nearer to square root of g r. Therefore, v naught is equal to square root of g r. Escape velocity. The minimum vertical velocity required for an object to escape from the gravitational influence of a planet is known as escape velocity. It is denoted by VE.